We're with Sarah Veria. Says you've earned yourself a round four Rising Star nomination against Collingwood. How does that make you feel? Uh, yeah, it's pretty surreal. Doesn't feel real to, yet, to be honest. Um, but I'm sure when the girls find out this afternoon, I'll quite feel it. But yeah, pretty stoked. This is your second year in the AFW system now. How have you found your own personal confidence growing that time? I definitely feel a lot more confident than I was last year, coming in as a newbie, um, not really knowing many of the girls. But yeah, feeling way, getting around the girls, um, especially this time for the two weeks. But yeah, really enjoying it and feeling way more confident than I was last year. What are the kind of specifics in your game that you really pride yourself um, when you take the footy field? Um, probably my skills and uh, my game sense. Um, I feel like obviously coming through Auskick um, and playing all the way through has really helped. But yeah, probably those those two. Watching on your intercept marking is also pretty incredible. Have you? Is that a conscious effort to make that you know a feature of your game? Have you worked really hard on that, or is that just a, a something that comes naturally to you? I uh, definitely have been working on that. Um, in our crafts at training, being in contested marking. Um, has really helped but yeah that's probably what I focused on I've never really been a marker so um, yeah focusing on that and um, hoping to improve and more that with that as well. You're the first player that was added to our list that's played uninterruptedly from Auskick through to the AFW level does that is that an advantage in your eyes? Uh, I think so but it I don't think it's a major thing to have like obviously some of the girls in our team haven't played through and are still absolute legends but um, yeah I think it does help but yeah. You talk us through some of the teammates who might have taken you under your wing or inspired you, offer those little words of advice. Who's been that person for you? Uh, definitely Gabby O'Sullivan. Um, she's always the one to take all the young ones in. Um, but yeah, help, helping me through the forward line last year, but definitely this year it's probably been a bit more Laura Pugh. Um, she's definitely helped me through the back line and felt, made me feel more, more confident. From one rising star nominee to some other rising stars, how have you seen some of the younger girls, the first year players coming through, how have you seen them step into the big time and um, yeah, really add to the team? Uh, definitely an eye opener, obviously Amy Franklin just kicked two goals yesterday, um, so seeing them girls coming through and um, getting their opportunity and chance, obviously people don't see what happens behind closed doors, but um, yeah, it's great to see their hard work actually coming through and them getting, getting some games in. And for the rest of your year personally, what sort of goals or hopes have you set for the remainder of the season? Um, probably just keep getting games to be honest and um, keep very consistent with my games and my effort. Um, but yeah, just to keep pushing through and getting around the girls and um, being very supportive. But yeah. So great to see you nominated for this award. Well done. Thank you.